Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I want to share with you a lens that I never leave home without. It is for me the most versatile of all my Sony portrait lenses and it is set at a relatively affordable price of less than $1,000. First and foremost, let's discuss what I look for in a portrait lens. The first one, focal length. It has to be between 85 millimeter to 135. Why? Because of distortion and compression. Imagine this, if you're using a 50 millimeter lens, in order for you to be able to fill the frame, you will have to go in really close and that will distort that person's face. The nose may get become bigger and other things actually might be distorted. Now, if you decide to go on a zoom lens that's longer than 135, you're gonna bring in compression. And once you bring in compression, it's just gonna flatten the image. It's not gonna be pleasing to the subject's eye. And lastly, I feel that the 85 to 135 range is basically that perfect distance from you to your subject. In other words, it is far enough for you not to be in that person's personal space. And at the same time, it is not that far that you will actually have to be shouting in order to be able to give direction. Though I'm sure some photographers may actually contest this, but then again, cliche at it sounds, you need to know the rules in order for you to be able to break them. Some people actually love using a wide angle lens, let's say a 35 millimeter to shoot some portraits in order to emphasize a specific body part that they want to emphasize. And others may want to use a telephoto lens maybe because they have to or they want to bring in the background closer. But in the end of the day, I'll leave it as this. You actually just need to shoot with a purpose and know exactly what your equipment is doing. So next, bokeh. Portrait lenses are more often than not associated with wide aperture lens, so a minimum of 2.8 or wider. The reason is that you want to be able to focus more on your subject's face and just blur out the background. And of course, honestly, who really doesn't want those beautiful out of focus backdrops? But remember this, this is not just about background blur. There is such a thing as good bokeh. Now good bokeh you could see are soft, round, and smooth. In order to produce soft, round, and smooth bokeh, you need to be able to look at the number of blades that your aperture has in your lens. For me, eight is a good number, but anything above that is fantastic. So the more blades that you put in will ensure that they come together and to form a circle, therefore making very pleasing and better bokeh. Another thing to consider now is sharpness. Who doesn't want a sharp lens, right? And that's why generally portrait specific lenses are prime lenses, meaning fixed focal lengths. You don't, you're not able to zoom because they normally have wider apertures and are sharper. So lastly, price. All of these things that I mentioned earlier, they come with price. There are a lot of specialized portrait lenses out there ranging from cheap to affordable or to a no compromise price. But there are reasons for that, but I don't think I want to discuss that in this video. For now, I want to focus on the lens that I believe has all these features and more at a very reasonable price. I am actually talking about my Sony 90mm macro lens. So this lens for me is really my most versatile portrait lens because it has all the factors that we discussed earlier. First, focal length. It is 90mm. Even if you put it in a crop sensor or a crop body, the effective focal length will still be 135 millimeter. It gives amazing bokeh even at just 2.8 because of its nine circular blades. And the minimum focusing distance of this one is so near, um, it will give you fantastic bokeh, which I will explain later during the demo. And lastly, macro lenses usually are the gold standard when it comes to sharpness. Now, another bonus of this lens is that it actually has image stabilization in it and all for the price of $1,000. That's why this one really is such a great versatile portrait lens. Okay, so let me show you guys how I use this lens for portraits and products. I'll give a demo now. But before that, I just want to add that this lens makes a good general event lens when I'm shooting weddings. 
How is that? Basically, when we're, when we're there in the reception, you could shoot the people on stage and at the same time pan your, pan your camera towards the crowd and get some reactions. Then after that, you could immediately go and shoot some of the details on the table or food. So imagine that being able to do that with just one lens. Okay, so I guess I've talked too much and let's go on to the demo. All right, so I have my 90 millimeter now installed on my A7R Mark IV. And this is not really a lighting tutorial anymore. So this is just gonna be a basic light. I'm just bouncing off my uh, Sony F60RM on this whiteboard. Because the purpose of this one is to be able to show you guys the relationship between foreground and background and bokeh. I mentioned earlier how, the two, how even this with this 90 millimeter 2.8, we can get fantastic bokeh because of its option for close focusing. And I will show you guys how it works now. And at the same time, I will also demo how I use this particular lens to be able to create amazing um, product shots or whenever I do weddings, it's actually our details photo. Okay, so again, I'm gonna call in my very cute model. Wana, come in, come in, Wana. Wana, Wana's gonna be our model, Wana, okay. So first thing, first thing that we're going to be doing is I will have Wana um, right beside the wall. So basically there is no difference between foreground and background in terms of distance. So you guys can see how bokeh works. Wana, go back please. Some more, some more Wana, some more, some more. So right now I am shooting at f2.8 and we'll just take one shot like this. So look at how she is sharp at the same time, the background is also very sharp. Wanna move forward here? Some more, some more, some more. Okay, so while, so now she, we are actually um, filling in the frame. You could see even from ambient light now, how the background already blurred out. And we filled the frame up, uh, with her face. Look at the camera. See, now you could already see that the background is blurred because the further the subject is away from the background, the better background blur you're gonna be getting. But here is where this particular lens actually differs from all the standard portrait lenses or the specialized portrait lenses with wide aperture. The fact that we can go very, very close to her. So let's see, Juana, can you go back there? Some more, some more near the wall. So now she's back originally to where we were earlier, but this time I will be going in close and taking a tight shot of maybe just her eyes. Wanna look at me, please? So look at the difference now. So now, since I am able to go really, really close to her, I am now being able to get that beautiful background blur and that is the reason why I was telling you this particular lens, the 90 millimeter macro, has that one option of close focusing to be able to create beautiful bokeh, even though it is just a 2.8 because you can go really up close to your subject and still maintain focus. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I use this particular lens in order to create my product shots or my detail shots whenever I shoot weddings. Okay, so I won't get into much detail about the lighting setup that we're using now to shoot because this is primarily to demo the 90 millimeter macro, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell because I will be uploading a video after this detailing this entire setup and how I lit this particular product, okay? So if you guys take a look that the reason why I love this 90 macro is one, I could take my product shots, beautiful, beautiful product shots like this, so I've got a, some lights and a flash there. And then afterwards, I can actually take it, take it out and go in close and take some detail shots. Okay, so now you guys know why I really love this very versatile portrait lens of mine. It can shoot macro, it can shoot portraits, it can shoot products, it can shoot food, and it could also be my events for, uh, lens for events photography. 
So if you guys are in the market for this type of lens or a very versatile lens for less than $1,000 and you are a Sony user, I highly recommend this 90mm macro lens. So before I end this, for, before I end this video, I actually want to share with you guys that this month of September 2020 marks the first year of basically me creating content in this channel and I wanted to give something in return for you, all of you guys that supported me. So I will be giving away one free one-on-one -on -one workshop, virtually actually, so it's going to be a virtual workshop for about an hour that's tailor-fitted depending on your needs and when it comes to photography. So how do you join this contest? It's basically as simple as subscribing to this channel, clicking this, the notification bell, following me on Instagram at Jiggy Alejandrino, and leaving a comment in the comment section below of this particular video with your IG handle and basically telling me what you like about what you just saw, okay? So I will be, I okay, be, before I almost forgot, I will be um, randomly selecting the winner on September 30, 2020. Okay, till the next video.